My name is James Cook, and my I guess my mixed martial arts background really is just Muay Thai. Started off Muay Thai about uh, 15, 16 years ago with Greg Nelson, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, after that I. I was fighting like a lot and then Alex Gong, the late Alex Gong, brought me out to San Francisco where I started training with um, Fairtex. And then when I started getting into Jiu Jitsu, I came here to Half Gracie's and uh, yeah, so I train here, Half Gracie's, Fairtex, Fight and Fitness, Marin MMA, Top 147, 145, 135 and 155 guys in the United States and some of them in the world, you know, fighting Lumpini Stadium you know, in Thailand and, and, you know, Princess Cup, things like that, so I'm ready to do it MMA. Started training with those guys, Kurt, Luke, Joy, those guys kind of took me under their wings, you know, trying to show me the basics. I, I like Holly. Holly doesn't like it. The prejudice against big nose, strong barbarian with Kurt Oceaner from Ralph Gracie Jiu Jitsu. I've been training for about 15 years. Um, I've been here at the San Francisco Academy for 10 years, and uh, I'm 3-0 in professional fighting. You know, he's, he's the black belt who, who the teacher's all in class, so. Yeah. Hey, Dave, keep your hands yeah, up. Okay. Well, Wait a minute. Kurt, who's the black belt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm the ground fighter. <laughs> James has been the Muay Thai coach here for a while, and now we're getting, getting him ready for uh, MMA, which is the uh, sport of the future. Uh, he's coming along quite nicely, and just like everybody, uh, when you first start out, it's very difficult. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, I think, is probably one of the hardest sports on the planet. And uh, if it was for everybody, yet, yeah, we'd be doing it. And James Cook's specialty is definitely Muay Thai. He's, he's got some mean knees and elbows. Uh, he's been doing stand-up for 15 years, so you know, you definitely don't want to stand in front of him. He's got some some vicious uh, striking abilities. Yo, this is my other jiu-jitsu trainer. My name is Mickey O'Riggs. I've been training martial arts for 17 years. I started in 1989, I believe, and I met Half at Caesars and been training with Half for ever since then, ever since uh, the 90s, like 96 or something like that. Recently, I, I broke my hand in my first MMA fight, pretty much within the first 30 seconds of the round, even even though I uh, of the first round, but even though I won the fight, you know, I kept going fighting with a broken hand, and then I fought like a month and a half later, Muay Thai with a broken hand, and uh, so my hand is still recovering. So this guy's been training me around that. He always had one of the best work ethics I've ever known. He's in the best shape of anyone I've ever known, um, and he's just like a, he's just a machine, you know. His uh, his his last kick is just as hard as his first kick, so. I think that he's going to be very successful. At this school, the goal is to uh, make everybody as good as possible to their ability with jiu-jitsu and uh, also to make a really highly competitive uh, competition team. been kind of a quid pro quo thing. It's, it's been kind of a quid pro quo thing where I've taught, I've helped a lot of their fighters get ready for, with their stand-up here at Half Gracie's, um, helped them get ready with their Muay Thai for their fights, and then in turn, they've helped me get ready with my Jiu-Jitsu. It was definitely unexpected. The guy who got his black belt today in class is Mickey O'Riggs, one of my students who started with me in 98. It's, uh, it's cool. It was definitely a long time coming for me. I've, I'd been brown belt for five years, and I was starting to feel like there was something wrong with me. What it means is now that you can learn really fast. Not that you know everything. Now you can learn.
really big deal to get your black belt from Half because I feel like his standards are some of the highest standards in the world. Hey guys, could I get a picture? Getting this belt was the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Aren't you now? Looking up the words, man, like that girl. Nobody here watches American Idol except for me, so.